This is part two. There will be a third part. I'll put a link in at the end of this video. In this video, I'm going to try and provide you with a little more detail on how you connect the soffit, the fascia board, and the roof rafters. And I have two different, uh, two different uh, examples. One is going to be with, with exposed rafter tails where you'll be able to see the roof rafters from underneath. And the other part will be if there's actually a soffit that will be covering up the rafters or the roof eave. This one here, we're actually going to have a, a hip. This would be a fill hip. This, this hip would not go all the way up into the roof. This method of California framing or framing with fill eliminates a hip that would go all the way up with jack rafter, something like that. This is more for a room addition, even though this is common a common method for framing. Used today, I should say, for even new homes without, without a room addition attaching to a home. Now in this... This side here where we have the soffit, you can actually see the um, little joist there for the soffit. The previous video showed the plywood or the roof sheathing going all the way over to here. Well, this was going to leave a hole here and I didn't want that. So I went ahead and moved the plywood uh, or the roof sheathing over and then extended this fill board down. Remember, it used to stop here. You can always go back and look at the other video for more uh, information. But this is actually going to provide us with a cleaner look. But I wanted to point that out um, and, and unless you were, if you were wondering, hey, wait a minute here, that would have been a nice hole there. So, so maybe you wouldn't have, who knows? another view here. Now you can always have the the fill board here that the rafters sit on. It can stop here and then you can always add another one in here later. You know this might be a 2x6, it might be a 2x8, and you might want to put a 2x4 in here, something a little smaller so you don't have to notch as much around the ceiling joists or the rafters here. Another view, you can see the fill dying right into the roof rafter there. Take a look at the soffit, give you a better idea what I'm talking about. This would be a soffit that probably would uh, have plywood, some type of a siding, or stucco even going underneath it. And this would be covering the area um, underneath so you wouldn't need to put a hip in here and make it look nice and neat. You can do do something like this it would work. Take a look at the other side. This would be the exposed rafters with the hip fill here. Now there's something else I want to point out. Um, it's not uncommon to actually have a rafter come down like this and then you cut you cut you go to make your cut, maybe you're not that experienced or you just had some bad luck and you cut it incorrectly. Well, you don't need to rip the rafter out if that's the case. Simply cut the rafter off, the rafter tail off and install another rafter tail. And uh, sometimes this is easier for um, even professionals to do. You know, you can have, you can cut the rafter off here, let's say, and then put another rafter on the other side or have one go on the other side of the ceiling joist or even have it butt right up against the ceiling joist or the rafter. And, and, and if you do, you can have the rafter go back and then you can actually just slide the rafter in until it fits nice and tight, nail it to the, or the, the new rafter, I should say, nail it to the old rafter, and then you look like you're a miracle worker when you're done with that. You look like you've been doing it for years. Here's the top view, the hip fill plywood or the roof sheathing, sitting half on it, stopping here. Um, so that we can insulate. Now there is something here, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video, even if the roof sheathing is coming down here, sometimes when you run the these fill boards down here, they're going to be blocking some of the insulation. So that's going to something I'm going to leave up to you. This method right here is going to have plenty of support with the roof sheathing sitting on top of here, and this board really wouldn't need to go down to intersect with this rafter.